Hi readers and writers, I'm glad you're here. Today we will be decoding and spelling. We'll practice our fluency and review all of our learning from this cycle. Materials. For today, grab some paper and a pencil. Here is our learning target. I can read a text fluently, smoothly, with expression and meaning, rereading and self-correcting when necessary. Here we go. Fluency. Are you ready to show all that you've learned during this cycle? In this fluency review, you will work to read the words that pop up on your screen. Do your very best reading. Here it is. Tool. Baby. Keeper. Igloo. Really. Every. How did you do? I hope you did your best reading. This week, we are going to practice fluency by reading some sentences. As we mentioned in the learning target, we want to read at a just right speed with expression and meaning. That means not too fast and not too slow. This way we can convey or share the meaning that the author is trying to send. Do your very best to read these sentences. How did you do? Let's practice reading them together now. See the little seed under the tree? It is a windy day. The wind sweeps the tiny seed to the city. It lands on a roof. Writing. Grab your paper and your pencil. It's time for a spelling review. I will share a word and I will use it in a sentence. Do your best to write down the word, thinking about each sound you hear, and then we'll talk about the word together. The first word is root. The root caused a crack in the sidewalk root. Let's look it over. Here is the word root. Er, oot. You'll see that vowel team OO saying oo in the word root. Let's write another word. The word is tree. I see the leaves on the tree. Tree. Let's check the word together. Tree has three sounds. Er, e. The vowel team ee -E makes the long vowel sound e in the word tree. 
Let's write one more word together. The word is candy. This is my favorite candy. Candy. Here is the word. Candy has five sounds, k and e. The letter Y says e at the end of the word candy, since candy is a word with more than one syllable. How did you do with your writing? We'll keep working on those parts that felt a little tricky. For the last part of our writing review, you will write a whole sentence. Do your best to hold the sentence in your brain as you work to write each word that I share. Don't forget to start your sentence with a capital letter and end it with punctuation. Are you ready? Here is the sentence. I really want the lady to move her boot so I can see. Say it with me this time. I really want the lady to move her boot so I can see. Go ahead. I really want the lady to move her boot so I can see. I really want the lady to move her boot so I can see. You may still be finishing and that's okay. Let's look over what you have. I really want the lady to move her boot so I can see. We have one of our high frequency words, really, in this sentence. The word lady ends with a Y. The Y makes the long E sound since it comes at the end of a word with more than one syllable. The word boot has the vowel team OO that says OO. And then that high frequency word C has that vowel team EE making the long vowel sound. How did you do with your writing? Did you remember to put a period at the end? I'm sure you did a great job. In reflection. This week, we reviewed all of our learning from this cycle. That included working with words with the vowel teams OO, EE, and that letter Y that says E. And we learned some new high frequency words. What do you want to keep working on from this cycle? You did some amazing work this week. I can't wait to start learning something new with you. But for now, kiss your brain and celebrate all of your hard work. I'll see you here again soon. Bye friends.